Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So today in this video, I'm going to talk about a research fellowship which is organized by Indian Oil Corporation Limited and CSIR Research Fellowship. So it's a joint research fellowship which is given by both of them and you will find out all the information on this website. It's a website of Indian Institute of Petroleum, Dehradun. You will get the link to reach out to this page in the description of this video. So you can directly come up to this page and you can follow up to where you will get the notification and where the advertisement is. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about that. What is the eligibility criteria? Who can apply? Uh, how much stipend you are going to get and what are the projects? So everything about it, we are going to discuss in this video in detail. Before going into it, I would like to thank Chinki Gangwar for providing this information. Thank you so much, Chinki. A big shout out to you. Now, without wasting any time, let's continue with our video. Alright, so as I already told you, this is the website of Indian Institute of Petroleum and here is this notification. You can either scan this QR code and you can just directly uh, like download the advertisement or you can click on this link to download the advertisement. I will, I have already downloaded it. So I will just show you. So this is how it looks. Okay. So it's a Indian Oil uh, CSIR Research Fellowship 2020-2021. And as it says, it is referred as ICRF. ICRF means Indian Oil CSIR Research Fellowship. Everything combined, it becomes ICRF. Okay. Now, this is for candidates who have qualified the net exam of CSIR after July 2019 and who have not yet joined anywhere as PhD. Uh, they are eligible to apply. So, what is the eligibility criteria? That you should have qualified net at least. Okay. They have not asked for JRF, they are asking for net qualified students. And if you have qualified even uh, like after July 2019, then you are uh, uh, like eligible to apply for it. Before July, you are not eligible. Okay, so after July 2019, there were like July 2019 exam, December 2019 exam and June 2020 exam. There were just three exams. So the students uh, who have passed all these three exams they are, are eligible to apply for it. Okay. So this particular uh, fellowship is like is a research fellowship basically. So you have to do some research work and this is expected to work under the supervision of guide and co-guide as CSR laboratory and Indian oil R&D center. So you have to work in both the ways. You have to work in lab also and you have to work in the industry also. So both experience you are going to get and it's a very good opportunity actually. So the selected fellow will registered as a PhD at a CSIR. So if you are selected through this position, you will be called as a PhD scholar at a CSIR. It's a CSIR lab basically. And they will receive the uh, like they will receive basic stipend and HRA which will be higher. That is up to 25% that of the entitlement under the net scheme of CSIR. So generally in the net scheme of CSIR, the fellowship which a particular student gets is 31,000, right? But you are expected to get 25% higher of it. So they have not specified that how much amount you will get but i hope you are good at maths so you can just add 25 percent of 30,000. so that will roughly make it around 40,000 something okay so you can just calculate it 25 percent means one fourth of 31,000, and that you just have to add over here okay they have not specified the value as such okay and the details uh, of project pos uh, positions available brief work plan sec uh, selection criteria they all are listed below and if you are interested to join in it, what you have to do is you have to submit your complete CV along with copy of net certification. So you need your CV and net certification. You have to send it to this email ID. Okay. CSIR IOCLRF at the rate IIP.res.in. That's the email ID where you have to email. And you have to also specify the project code in the subject line. So when you are writing the email in the subject line, you have to mention that which project code you are applying for it. And the last date is 15th of November. So you have to make all these things before that. Okay. Shortlisted candidate will be intimidated uh, at the date of interview. The date of interview will be in the third or fourth week of November. So they have not specified yet. But if you will be shortlisted, you will be sent a mail for the interview and then you can join the interview. Interview will be done on MS Teams means it's a platform just like a, a Zoom call, just like a Google Meet. It's MS Teams. And selected fellows will be required to join the concerned CSR laboratory in January 2022. So you will be joining uh, in the January 2022. So there are four 
projects if you can see project number one is having project code of GAP uh, 1001 file number is also given to you have to write it down like you have to note it down if you are interested in a particular project okay both these things will be required the broad topic of interest is cracking behavior of asphalting in crude oil and residue there is just one position in this particular field and the qualification which is required is msc chemistry with pcm background and interview so apart from that net qualification you you should also have msc chemistry in pcm background okay and uh, the expected date of joining and other things i have already told you those are common for all of them project number two is for your uh, okay project number two also has the code you have to just remember that or you have to just note it down and for that also one post is there the subject is carbon smart bioprocessor for fuels and chemicals and the requirement is msc in microbiology and biotechnology so this is not for chemistry student this is for microbiology and biotechnology students okay again the last date and the uh, the expected date of joining is same project number three again these are the codes required when you will be like submitting the your cv then in that time it will be required the broad topic is petrochemicals from co2 number of post is just one here also and here it is required to have msc organic or inorganic chemistry and interview so here there is no necessary like it's not required for uh, having any a pcm or something you if you have just M done msc in organic chemistry or inorganic chemistry that makes you eligible for it or for it again the dates are here same and the last project again the code are here the topic is nano structured material as lubricant additives again one post is there and again the qualification which is required is msc chemistry with pcm background so there are four posts out of four three are for chemistry out of those three two are for those who have pcm background and one is for those who have done either organic or inorganic chemistry okay so this is how this whole procedure is last date you have to make sure that you remember it it's 15th of november so in case if you are interested what you have to do you have to just mail uh, you have to just write down a mail to this particular email address what you have to send is your cv along with your net uh, qualifying document or the, the your net certificate and uh, you have to mention that which project you are applying in project code in your uh, subject column and then you just have to send this mail and that's all it will be done and if you will be shortlisted you will be intimidated through mail and then you have to go for the interview once you will qualify the interview you will be getting this particular position so this was all about uh, this uh, position or this Indian Oil CSIR Research Fellowship which is being provided by Indian Oil and CSIR as a uh, joint program. So I hope the things are much clear to you. I hope it is useful video for you. So make sure that if you are interested and if you follow up all the eligibility criteria apply for this post and I will see you guys in the next one till then. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hey guys. So I teach live on Unacademy Plus platform. Here I teach for the CSIR UGC net category. And you can follow me over here for regular classes. You can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform. The classes which are free, you can get that under the section of special classes. Whereas in order to access my paid classes, paid live classes, you have to take Unacademy Plus subscription. So do make sure that you take the Unacademy Plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized. The whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there. So make sure that you take an Academy Plus subscription by using my referral code that is N underscore Huda. That's it for this. Thank you so much.